Hi, welcome to this hands-on session on SQL. I am Aliza Tanvir and in this video we will have a look at the coalesce function. The coalesce function in SQL is used to handle null values. This function evaluates arguments in a particular order from the provided argument list and always returns the first non-null value that it finds. During this expression evaluation, the null values are replaced with the user-defined values. It is to be remembered that for argument, the data type of the expression must be the same. For example, if the first argument is integer, all other arguments must also be integer and so on. Moreover, it is a syntactic shortcut for the case expression, which means that everything that you can do with the coalesce function can also be done using the case statement. We'll start by seeing what happens when we try to concatenate columns having null values without the coalesce function. And for that I am going to use this query in which I am concatenating the first name, middle name and last name from the table owner data. Upon executing the query, you will see that the result for some of the rows is null. The result is null because every string concatenation involving a null value returns a null value. Here in this example, either the first name, middle name or last name was null, so the query returned null. We will tackle these null values using the coalesce function. Now I am going to rewrite this query using the coalesce function. Since we don't know that whether the null value was existing in the first name, middle name or the last name, so I am going to use coalesce function to handle the null values for the first name, middle name and last name and for all the null values, I am going to replace it with an empty string. Upon executing the query, you will see that the rows having null in the previous query result now have a value and the null value in either the first name, middle name or last name is replaced by an empty string. Let's move towards a second example in which we will use a scalar user defined function and the SQL coalesce function. A user defined function is created to return a string specific for the provided input and then the output is grouped using a grouping clause. In order to use the scalar user defined function with the coalesce function, I am going to use this query. Here first I will create a scalar valued function called dbo.coalesce.concat. That is going to return the concatenated string values for the cities in each state separated by a comma. Inside this function, I am creating a variable called string in which I am selecting the states for each city and I am concatenating these. After creating this function, I am going to call this function and store it in the city and I am going to group the result on the basis of name of state. So it is going to return me the names of all the states that belong to a particular city. Now let's execute this query. In the output, you can clearly see that the cities belonging to a particular state have been concatenated using comma without null values. Let's move towards the next example in which we'll perform data validation using the coalesce function. In this example, the coalesce function will help us to find the pet owners where no emergency contacts are listed. So we are going to use this query in which we will select first name, last name, full name and relationship and I'm going to apply the coalesce on the home phone, work phone and cell phone and in case of null values, the value NA which corresponds to not applicable will be returned and no null value will be provided in the output. Now let's execute the query. In the output you will see that for two rows of phone number you will have not applicable. This means that either the home phone, work phone or cell phone number was null so it was replaced by not applicable. And for all other rows, the first non-null value is provided in output. Let's move towards our last example. As I have already mentioned that the SQL coalesce function can be syntactically represented using the case expression. So I'm going to write the previous query, but this time with the case expression. Inside this query, I'll first select first name, last name, full name and relationship from the table. And I'm going to apply the case expression on the home phone, cell phone and work phone which will return the value of these phone numbers if it, the value is not null. But if the value is null then the case expression is going to return not applicable for each of the null values. Now let's execute the query to see the result. Upon executing you will see that the query will return somewhat similar results to the results of the coalesce function statement. But the only difference is that 
instead of selecting the first non-null value which happens in case of the coalesce function the case expression selects the last non-null value and this is how you can use the coalesce function on different values to get output thank you